Hi guys and welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Very exciting video today as we're going to be talking about the new updates of Formula 1 2022 in virtual reality set to be released this July with brand new footage which was very recently released on YouTube of actual gameplay inside of the app itself. So that is extremely exciting. But first guys, here I'm using the HP Reverb G2 of my Logitech G29 TrueForce Wheel on Automobilista 2 and after I was able to set the wheel up properly and make sure to use the in-game user interface using the wheel and not a mouse or my Xbox S controller. I have to say it is an absolutely breeze inside of here. And do remember guys that you can also enter to win a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP as well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, the chair and everything that goes with it as well as a voucher worth 50 US dollars where you can redeem any game on any store that you want. It'd be completely up to you. Winners to be announced upon hitting the 11,000 subscribers. So do make sure to go to the link below which will redirect you, sorry, to our Gleam .io's website form where you can submit all the different things to take part. It's absolutely free, guys. So do go and click on that link after this video. All right, let's get out of virtual reality and talk about this new update of F1 2022 in VR. F1 2022 uh, by Upload VR. Let me just make it a little bit bigger so you can see. Uh, we have now a first look at F1 2022 running in virtual reality. Earlier this week, YouTuber Alex Gillen posted nearly 10 minutes of footage of the upcoming racing game running in a Quest 2 via Airlink as part of EA's creator network. Now, guys, just so that you know, uh, there are quite a bit of issues with the Airlink apparently for a lot of people. So do bear in mind that, especially especially when there's new updates happening, there could be some bugs here and there. Uh, and of course, um, you know, you do need a Facebook account. So do be mindful that Facebook does close people who have a fake Facebook account or a second Facebook account just for VR. Uh, and you know, it can render your quest to be a complete brick. This is widely known in the industry and there's many videos about this on our YouTube channel. So do go and check those videos out. All right, very excited to see what it looks like. So let's look at it together. Let me just press play here. So you can see him there, he's using his VR headset. Um, now, it is also reported, by the way, guys, I did mention this in a previous video that you know it would be compatible on the HP Reverb G2. However, there is no report at the moment officially stating that it will be compatible with the G2. However, if it's gonna be compatible with most VR headsets, I don't see why it would not be compatible with the G2. I'm pretty sure that HP will get in touch with the guys from EA and EA have a very good relationship with HP, no doubt. So I don't see why it wouldn't be compatible with the HP, but it could be possible that perhaps, you know, the controllers might not be compatible with it or you would have to use an Xbox S controller or some other way to, you know, or your mouse on the computer, perhaps that that's all possible. But it is true that there are no official reports at the moment that it would be compatible with the HP Reverb G2. So I just wanted to say this for those who who, you know, have an HP and who are following this channel with VR Essentials. Um, now, the graphics, to be honest with you, look very smooth, very nice. I'm not quite sure what his, his computer is, but I would imagine it's probably state of the art. So if it's a 380 or 390, Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I do follow this YouTuber. I have watched his other videos and honestly, he's a very, very cool guy. So do go and check out uh, his videos. And if you do comment on his videos, let him know you came from VR Essentials. We'd really appreciate that shout out. That'd be really, really awesome. But the graphics here look very cool, very smooth. Um, I have to say, very excited to know what it's going to be like in terms of the gameplay. We don't know. Uh, how much is it going to be free to play versus pay to play? Uh, will we have to purchase certain things in order to progress in the game? We do not know. But hopefully, at the end of the day, um, you know, all these kind of things will be made in a way where it's very user friendly for us who don't have hundreds or thousands of dollars to splash uh, in order to progress in these kind of games. So, you know, do leave a comment below. Let us know your thoughts. If you have more information, please let the other people in the community know in the comments below as well. Very much to know your feedback and what you think. But yeah, the gameplay looks, um, looks pretty cool. I mean, you know, 
you, you can go and check out what he has to say. Of course, he probably has a lot more feedback to, to share about you know his own experience inside of the game. And of course, this track is Miami or Miami because this weekend, by the way, is the Miami Grand Prix. So if you're watching this video today, uh, then tomorrow or by the time you watch this video, maybe, no, it will be later. Um, they will actually be the real Formula One Grand Prix in Miami. So this is supposed to emulate the actual track that they're going to be using for the very first time, by the way, guys, if you're not an F1 fan, but if you are an F1 fan, then you will know it is the very first time that they're doing this Grand Prix in Miami this weekend. So that's that. So let's just read on and see what else uh, there is in this article to see what, you know, perhaps more information there is. For the most part, this footage looks pretty much as you'd expect. Speeding down the game's new Miami circuit, we get to see how the ability to move your head freely in game can change up the racing experience in new ways. What we haven't seen yet, though, is how the rest of the game shapes up in VR. We're likely to see virtual versions uh, of the 2D menu, etc., for the UI, but we'll have to wait a little longer to find out. F1 2022 is due out on July 1st, with pre-orders launching May 16th. So, guys, ooh, 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 ooh. how many of you are actually going to do the pre-orders? Leave a comment below uh, or like the button. Let's see if you know if we can get to um, you know 100 likes or something to see how much you guys are actually going to be doing the pre-purchase but this is very excited i will definitely purchase the game for sure because i'm very excited and as you know been using the wheel here so i want to have that experience in virtual reality for sure uh, bonuses of pro pre-ordering by the way include early access to the game on june 28 so you'll be able to try the game a few days before currently is coming to pc and consoles but only the pc PC version is due to get VR support. No integration with PSVR at the moment apparently has been announced, but we'll keep our fingers crossed that the PS5 edition will get PSVR too. Now guys, I'd also like to know how many people, how many people in our community, VR Essentials community, is going to be purchasing the PSVR headset, which is said to be released uh, at the beginning of 2023, if I'm not wrong, or at the end of 2022. Leave a comment below. Let us know, guys, are you excited about the PSVR 2? Are you one of these lucky guys who are going to splash your cash onto it? I'd like to tell you guys that it would it's very expensive. I don't know if I'm going to afford it, to be honest. I don't know if I can afford it. I really don't know if I can afford it. It would be setting me back about a thousand US dollars plus a VR headset, about 1500 US dollars or so, maybe 2000 US dollars. Who knows how much it's going to be? We don't know at this moment in time. I don't know, guys. I would rather splash my cash in Bitcoin if, if that's the case or in cryptocurrency, even though at the moment it is diving down. So do be very careful. No financial advice, of course. I'm just saying I would much rather buy some XRP or some Ether if I had, you know, 2000 US dollars to splash. That's just my personal that's just my personal taste, my, my personal take on it, because I have PS, PC VR, I'm very happy. I don't need PS VR so much, but you know, let us know in the comments below, will you be, are you one of those guys who is actually going to be purchasing it? We'd love to know that information from you. All right, no integration with PS VR has been announced as we just mentioned just now. So there you go, guys. All right, let's go to our YouTube VR Essentials channel and say hello to some of you guys. Do you remember guys that we are doing the brand new giveaway? Uh, oh, it's not brand new, but we are doing the giveaway of, of course, the HP Reverb G2, brand new HP Reverb G2, very exciting. And also the um, Cyber Shoes, sponsored by HP and Cy sponsored by Cyber Shoes, and also the 50 US dollar voucher that you can redeem against your Meta Oculus Quest store, Steam VR store, or Viveport store. Be completely up to you as to what games you want to exchange it for, because I'll just send you the cash and then you can decide, basically. So be completely up to you. All right, um, let's go to the latest comments here and then go sorry not latest comments uh latest subscribers see all and then go by date subscribe there we go let me just make it bigger so you can actually see i'd like to welcome mario stormer uh miguel palma Narish nanny nr scotland route 66 isaac bradfield uh, quadruple 7 ldlv nikki dumas Saul Sensland, Patrick O'Brien, and also Doc Loxie. Guys, thank you so much for joining the channel. You guys 
are super, 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 super awesome. Thank you so much. Um, but because it's been a while, I'd also like to welcome, if possible, let me just go to the next page here. Uh, Lucas Ledman, Jimbo Chu, Split Race, Engine 67, Samsung Cho, Aditya Tiwari, T.Y. Weaver, D-Melt, Trevor McManus, and also Karen Selick. Guys, you are freaking awesome. I know how hard it is to subscribe to channels and press that subscribe button. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We're almost, guys, almost at 11,000 subscribers, which is when we will be announcing the winners to the HP Reverb G2 giveaway with the, with the um, Cyber Shoes at the Gaming Station and the voucher as well. So do head to the link down below to make sure you go and subscribe for all that good stuff. Let's go to the latest comments and just see what you guys had to say uh, about the Oculus Meta Quest Wonder versus Google uh, video. Google Earth has a lot of curious blackout areas. If you try to look at Norfo, it is a blank or has a fake blue image. Thank you very much for your comment. Really appreciate that change life. Ray Upon says, will I be able to use my HP Reverb G2 with this game. Talking about the F1 2022 is coming out to the Oculus Quest 2, HP Reverb G2 and PC VR. So do go and check out that video. As I just mentioned, there's no official announcement, but there's no reason why it should not be. So let's hope and see that it will actually work just fine. Uh, yes, Hito Leon says, what's the difference between V1 and V2? Well, do go and check out the videos that I had posted on the channel because there are some differences, including the gasket, um, mood point, and also the track. And of course, mood point says, it would be great if they offered a free trial version. This is about the Wonder video, but no, they want 10 friggin' dollars for a glorified Google Earth. What? Guess what? GE is still my go-to for this type of thing. Wonder is not a bad, um, it's not a bad experience whatsoever, guys. Really cool. Uh, but yes, you do have to buy it. So Moot Point, thank you very much for your comment. Um, this is about the why I don't use a wheel for my VR sims. Now, this video was uploaded, by the way, guys, before um, Logitech was a sponsor to the channel. So Logitech, a big shout out to you. Thank you very much for sponsoring us. This wheel is freaking amazing. Really love it. So do go and check out uh, the videos about it. Um, and then it was, how do you connect the Xbox controller to the PC VR system? Uh, do go and check out that video. It is there. So. Guys, do go and check it out because there's there's two videos about that. Uh, thank you very much, Crazy55 Rider, for your uh, comment. And then I'm just going to read out one more comment for today, and I will reply to all the comments, guys, as I normally always do. Punisher says, how do you silo games? I have no clue. This is about the uh, Pico Neo 2 Live on Boxing VR. Basically, you have to put them, you, you just have to drag and drop them into a specific folder. I will do another video about Pico Neo stuff because of course it is the first official competitor and we have posted videos about the Pico Neo 2 for consumers that will be set to release in uh, Europe in selected countries. Um, and guys, I have sent a huge email to Pico, but unfortunately I know how busy they get. I haven't received any replies. I haven't received a reply. Mm, pico, Pico, Pico. Uh, I will... Uh, resend that email to Pico to see what you know what the differences are exactly between the Pico Neo 3 Pro and the Pico Neo 3 Link. So guys, thank you very much for all your comments and your love. I will see you in the comments below and in also another video very soon. All right guys, take it easy. Bye for now.